Welcome back to Whiskey Happens, Dallas edition. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, another episode of What's Poppin'. I know you guys know Travis got this a couple months back. He's been waiting patiently and diligently for us to play with this. So Travis, tell us what you got. <laughs> he, he did just say play with it. Um, no, super excited about this. So Gary and I both did a bunch of research. Cannot find anything yeah, we call it researching. really valid on this. Um, yeah. The only thing I found and that he found is uh, H. Derringer was a gun maker back in the day, um, made a concealed weapon that was mainly used by assassins. And potentially that's what they used when for the Abraham, uh, Abraham Lincoln assassination. So wanted to get into this though because this is an anomaly like this is a cool really cool and as you guys saw it comes with the gun it comes you know really it's really well done um but it's uh definitely an interesting piece um and that's why i got it is i got it because not because i think this is going to be the most amazing bourbon i've ever tasted but this is going to be kind of the showpiece for my um bar that i'm building and just to have something kind of the centerpiece but like feel this i mean it's heavy it's, it's a good metal. to it I, I would say regardless of what is actually in this bottle uh it's a conversation piece yeah. there's nothing that we can find that's factual of this other than henry did uh, derringer existed in history and did make yeah. odds so it is coming in at 40 percent apv um it is um one thing we saw said it was out of indiana so another thing says the company imported from South Carolina. The office is in Georgia. It's a product of the USA. I highly doubt any of it's true. Yeah. I think that this company just makes uh, novelty bottles that look cool. Yeah. And if you guys know anything about it, let us know in the comments because we couldn't find anything. Um, but I'm just excited to try it and see. This is so pop. I know I'm being very gentle with it because it's really a interesting bottle. This might make a good infinity bottle. Um, the bottle itself. Yeah, the bottle. Not itself. the contents. Yeah. Okay. There you go, sir. Uh, right off the top, it's kind of. I would say it's young. It's not deep. Uh, we couldn't find an age statement whatsoever. No. Um, I will say. Um, I will say though, it's um, one thing I think is neat about this is they only made 3,900 of these, or no, 2,900 of these. So um, just getting one is kind of neat. Pop in the uh, showpiece. That's very cool. light. Yeah. Um, I smell a little bit of honey. A little honey, corn, of course, up front. I'm, I'm getting some clove. Whoa, that tastes like rye. It's an interesting, I mean, it's a, it's a. The clove comes through more peppery. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can definitely taste the honey now, but. There's a like grass-like quality to this. Yeah. It's. um. It's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't say that this is something that's amazing. It's going to knock your socks off when you drink it, um, like we said, but. Um, it's not bad. I definitely think it's, um, you've got a lot of um, heavy wheat notes in it. So you, you get that, that wheat, that rye, you get that um, mal malted barley in it. You really taste those up front. Not very sweet. I thought it would be a little sweeter, um, but it's because of the color, especially, I was thinking it'd be a little sweeter, but it's not very sweet. Yeah, at it's all. not too sweet at all. I'm almost getting that, uh, oh, words. Liquor is feeling right now on the um, coating the tongue. Yeah. Or anise, I guess, is yeah. more so. Yeah. It's not bad, though. I mean, it's it's definitely something that, like I said, I'm keeping as a showpiece. Um, really excited to just open it and want to open it with him. So since we got it together in New Orleans. Um, yeah. But, you know, as it sits a little bit, we're getting more green apple, tobacco. Uh, I think the initial sip was just like, well, it, it's been yeah, and it's been sitting for a while. So yeah, um, I'd be interested in me put it on the put it put 
put it on the rocks and see how it came out as well. Might do that at, uh, off camera after we're done just to see the flavor profile change. So um, yeah, so that's uh, another edition of What's Poppin'. I um, hope you guys like that. If you, like we said in the comments, if there's anything- um, Anything you know at all. About, yeah, anything you know about it at all. Ikayo Importers or A-I-K-O, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, it definitely sounds Asian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. but it swears it's a product of the USA. Yeah. And, you know, you forgot to tell the people again. We start, we kicked this off so quick. We didn't tell them what they had to do. Oh, they should be doing. well, you know what? If you haven't already liked and subscribed this button, this button, this is the first pour of the day. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's true, going on. True statement. <laughs> uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. There are quite a few videos that are going to come in your way. Although we don't know what order you're watching this in. Yep. Either way, always remember, it doesn't matter if you like it neat, on the rocks, and a fucking Coke. Whiskey happens. Cheers. Cheers.